Seems, seems, to, be, seems to be working. That's promising. <laughs> why you? Why? Why you say that? I I trust myself when I'm by myself, but when it's us recording, I just trust Nikki more. He just has done it more frequently. And like, it's not that hard. <laughs> it's really easy, actually. I fucked it up before, and I could do it again. <laughs> Nikki has too. I have a skill. I have not fucked it up because you guys won't let me do it. <laughs> But I'm I'm multitasking by I can't doing that. Many, it, I would be multitasking. I mean, it's too many devices. Because I play all the music. It's true. It's too many devices. I don't want to give you that kind of pressure. Put that on you. I deal with devices all day. And that is my job. That's true. That's true. You got me there. I have two phones now. Yeah, we talked about this last week. Remember? I know. I'm but I, I'm bringing it up again. One for the try to stop me. One for the work and one for the host. Ain't nobody here to tell a long-winded story to cut me off. So. Oh, I could. I would find a long-winded story. I could do it. <laughs> don't do it. All right. We don't. Like we got. Nikki's not here. His friends got engaged. Well, I guess your friends too. Or yeah. do you know them? Okay. I don't. Well, be, I hope they don't listen to the podcast. I, don't I know them. I wouldn't say we're friends. Like, yeah, yeah this, it would be best if they don't listen. Got it. it. Just for whatever it's worth, you could have just lied since you're being recorded. That's but. true. Well, Chuck and Kaylee, congratulations. You guys are great people. Um, I wish we were better friends. I guess. <laughs> he told me he's shaking his head. Come I'm on, just kidding. Come on. <laughs> Come on. You shouldn't have done it. Like, why would I not That's call fair. it out for a comedic effect? <laughs> yeah, we don't have visual jokes. We have to call them out. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, congrats to, I forgot your names. Chucklin. Chucklin. That's All right. their celebrity couple name. All right. You didn't say they were celebrity. Uh-huh. Is it Chuck from the show Chuck where the, the white guy is the secret agent? Would that change your opinion on your excitement level? Um, it, yes, it would make me less excited because okay. that show sucked. Then no, that's not him. <laughs> <laughs> Would you have lied to me if I said it would make me more excited? No, I still would have said the same answer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then why even ask the question? I just it's just part of the conversation. I was just curious where your where your head was at or what your opinions were on the show Chuck. Yeah, they're not great. And now um, now we know. Now we're better because of it. I actually I don't I've never watched it. Just the commercials look dumb. Wow. Just funny. Some people really like that show though. I heard a lot of people people whose who opinions on comedy that I respect spoke very highly about it. Very highly. <laughs> What, what fucking people? People. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> sure. Um, let's move on from that lie. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're talking cheese this week. Yeah. That's great. Um, the cheesiest member of the podcast is not here, which is upsetting. Um, <laughs> rest in peace, Nikki. He's not Just kidding. Dead. He didn't die. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Wow. <laughs> we all, we're all going to die, we're Jay. We're all dying. Slow, We're all dying. Slow, slow deaths. Mm. <laughs> oh my god! All right, this is not a me and Nikki episode, so we're not allowed to keep get sad. Keep it light. Keep it light. Yeah. Speaking of light, I it's your boy Cold Stone Cream Austin. I got it. This is the podcast that eats with you, yays with you, and loves you way more than those other motherfucking podcasts. Give me a hell yeah! Hell yeah! That was a weak hell yeah. Give me another one. Hell yeah! <laughs> that was a strange one. Give me another one. Hell yeah. <laughs> another weak one. Sorry. I'm done with you. Hell Lock- yeah. <laughs> All right. That was better. Anyway. <laughs> it's your boy. Romaine Reigns. I forgot to play a song first. <laughs> but yeah, it's your boy Romaine Reigns. Ooh. Ah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I need to um figure out. My food situation, actually, because... So, I haven't gone grocery shopping in what feels like three months. And (laughs) I just... I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I've just been fucking ordering out, like, every day. Wow. Ordering what? Um... It's been three months. There's been a variety of things. I'm curious. Like I don't even know if it's been three months. That's an exaggeration, but... I really need to get groceries. It's been in my <laughs> reminders for uh, at least a week. and But there are other things. I've had no downtime. It sucks. I mean, you could do like Instacart. I could, but <laughs> like even that's hard to do. Because like all I want to do, all I want to do is stay home, play Nintendo Switch. But everyone wants to hang out now. So I've had like no night where it's just me by myself. Everybody wants to hang out with me. I felt some jealousy there. 
I just like I don't know. Get my he shook his head. Um, <laughs> yeah, leave me alone. I just want to play Nintendo Switch. Don't text me unless your name is Nintendo Switch. <laughs> um, just kidding. Continue to text me. I'm lonely. But um, anyway, but yeah, I've had I haven't had any downtime. It's been um, sort of frustrating, but I don't know. Things are fun. Could be worse. Very exciting life. Could be worse. Lately. You could have so much downtime. Yeah, I know. So There's much. there've been times where I've had too much downtime, and uh, I didn't love that either. But now I just kind of wish I could have one night you need where more, I'm doing nothing. You need more and less downtime. That's what you need. <laughs> In what way do I need less downtime? I don't know. <laughs> You did not think that through. All right. Um, why don't you introduce yourself? I'm sorry I talked about myself for so long. That's okay, man. It's the two of us here, and we just have a knack for going going down, going down. But we're going to pick it back up. Uh, Mute my computer. I just got a Discord message. <laughs> Discord? It's like Slack, but for gamers. Oh. Mute. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is your boy, Jake Hila's, a.k.a. Detlef Shrimp. Uh, that is one that we should have come up with a I long know. time ago. How did ago. we not? I was thinking mm-hmm. about it the other day when I was washing dishes, and I was like, you stupid idiot. Why did you say that earlier? <laughs> um, can I spit some bars? Can I do it? Um, Sure. All right. <clears throat> he still has no notes. Never. So. All off the top of the dome. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Feeling cheesy. I'm like Wheezy. Sipping syrup. Yes, you heard of the kid from Chicago. His name is J.O. No, that's not right. His name is J.Q. And the question at the top of the dome is who? Who are you? Fuck you, dude. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so aggressive. This, this day got dark fast. <laughs> Why are you so it. angry? I didn't mean to. It just it just came to me. It just came to me. Oh, man. that You want to talk? About anything, we gotta save it for your emotions. This might have to be the first episode of your emotions. No, I'm in a good place right now, man. Work is good, life is good, and podcasts are good. That's good. Yeah, work is good for me too. Got in, um, three weeks into my new job, and things are going very well. Solving interesting problems. Uh, I like my coworkers. It's great. Um, yeah, I would say that's not cheesy, but this episode <laughs> is. But first, let's let's talk about some food news. Let's do it. Um. Apparently they are releasing uh, Lacroix. Lacroix. Jesus, you can do this. Lacroix. There it is. <laughs> I, see, that's not how it's supposed to be pronounced, though. Fuck you, Wisconsin. You don't just get to decide how French words are pronounced. That's true. But anyway, that's the most American thing they can do. Yeah. Anyway, Lacroix is now coming out with uh, bathing suits that's true. for men and women. They're hot. And I'm gonna get um, some lime flavored ones <laughs> and maybe pomplamousse. Interesting. Yeah. I didn't see that coming. Lemon is not good. Lemon LaCroix tastes like armpits. It's not good. Mm. It's not great. What's wrong with that? I don't know how that happened. Uh, yeah. When did artificial lemon start to taste like armpits? I don't understand. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Also, armpits? How do how you know how armpits make taste? How, how, what's, your, what's your relation to uh, armpits? And the <laughs> You've taste never armpits? tasted sweat or at least... Like, you can smell something and decide, like, what it tastes like. That's fair. I guess that's You true. can guess. I'm sure you've said this tastes like shit before. Have you ever tasted shit? You got me. And to be honest, yes, I have tasted our sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Intentionally and unintentionally. <laughs> I mean. On the basketball court and in the bedroom. <laughs> uh, I'm not ready to admit to any of that. I, I, I said too much last episode, so I'm just going to calm it down. It's okay. People can barely Dial it back. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a reputation to uphold. Um, what is what is one food uh, brand that you would not wear if it was a, in a clothing format? Um, Antique Taco, Smoke Daddy, <laughs> Furious Spoon. Uh, I guess you're talking brands. I wouldn't wear Pringles because I think Pringles are shitty. Okay. I hate Pringles. Okay. Once you pop, you wish you stopped before the first <laughs> one. That should be their slogan. <laughs> Pringles are not good. and But I do like – one thing I do like about Pringles is that they – um. They don't put air in the bag. You're not, and it's not a bag, That's but true. You you're not exactly, buying air. You know exactly what you're getting. That yeah, thing. when you buy other chips, you're buying mostly air. That's true. I had a, a bag of kettle corn today, and it was, 
there was probably like four kernels in it. That's <laughs> what it felt like. I love kettle corn. Me too. Uh, kettle corn's amazing. It's great. Um anyway, so um what the fuck was the question? Oh yeah. Um what other brands do I hate? I hate a lot of brands. What would you not wear? That's a great question. Um I think like Tabasco, anything Tabasco branded? I love Tabasco. Get it off my body. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Why what? don't we make it positive to after you're done and say what brands we would like to wear? Great. I'll go ahead and transition. Um, brands that I would like to wear, uh, Fluffernutter. I would wear Fluffernutter clothing. Um, <laughs> what the fuck is that? Fluffernutter. It's like the marshmallow fluff. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, G- that G- sounds like, a, that really, 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 really sounds like. <laughs> someone who works on a porn set. <laughs> uh, <laughs> where's the fluffer nutter? Right, but he's like he's a dude that exclusively works with the dudes. Like he doesn't he doesn't get to touch any of the women. He only works with the dudes and keeps them all fluffed. Uh, <laughs> God damn it! Where's the damn fluffer nutter? God damn it! Uh, well, that's the name of the episode. Uh, <laughs> where's the fluffer nutter? Uh, <laughs> Fuck. Uh, uh, stop talking about porn. Sorry, can't, I can't help. <laughs> no, it. it's my fault. I brought it up. That's true. I was yelling at myself. Two peas in a pod. Two I would definitely pot. wear Cheetos apparel. But you only, guys don't like Cheetos. Only though. with the Cheeto guy though. It's gotta have the Cheeto dude on. No, it. I just want. Well, obviously, I want it to look like the bag. I don't want to look like a Cheeto. Mm. <laughs> I want it to look like the bag. Fair. Like okay. a T-shirt with like a flaming hot bag. You got okay. Okay. Skittles. I'd rock some Skittles wear. I hate Skittles. I don't like the candy, but I like the bag. <laughs> they do have great branding they and do. marketing. They do. The commercials are weird, but they work. They're hilarious. The mm. one where that kid's got like the chicken pox and the, she, the girl That's picks so it off. That's so gross. And, oh, it's, it's so hilarious. gross. It's so funny. And then she just <laughs> breaks out and she got Skittles all over her face and shit. <laughs> Oh, man, that's man. yeah it's like definitely compare your food to infectious diseases that's <laughs> smart that is genius marketing i hadn't even thought about that <laughs> i hadn't even thought about it it's viral Ooh, it worked <laughs> anyway um Stuck in my mind. let's see what else would i wear um i think most chip bags are cool like that would be cool to wear Something or oh ramen noodles. They already sell that though. Yeah, I dig that though. But yeah, I've mm-hmm. seen like cup of ramen. But like, speci- I would like like the mm. Korean ones, like specifically the Korean ones, or like any of the like. Uh, I don't the- know which ones are Korean. So they have like these Korean bags of like super spicy ones, and it's all mm. Korean writing. On oh them. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know those. That. Someone ordered that at work once and was trying to eat it, and they had a bad time. Huge mistake. Um. Oh, uh, what the fuck was I gonna say? All right, I lost it. <laughs> All right, maybe we should move on. Let's do it. Um, all right, this is a this is gonna be a tough question to answer, but I want the truth. Okay, don't you lie to me. I don't know why you would, but um, now I'm thinking about it. <laughs> so you can give honorable honorable mentions, but you need to give me your number one cheese. So I thought about this before we started recording today. So I guess. Are we talking? We're just talking cheese in general. It doesn't matter if it's like deli cheese or like actual mm-hmm. good cheese. So, as of recent years, my number one cheese has to be burrata. Burrata is awesome. I, I think I've had burrata, but I don't know what it is. So, it's similar to mozzarella, but it's uh, creamier. And uh, mm. I don't want to say runny because I feel like that's the wrong descriptive word, mm. but it's like more spreadable. Okay. Um, but it's great. Like, you can put it in, uh, you can put it on toast, you can have like a spread. Um, with other shit inside of it, and you kind of bake stuff inside of it, or you can like bake the burrata as a whole and just dip crackers into it. Like, just it's very, it's very malleable. You so, can do like a, a brie kind of thing, very similar, yeah. But you can do a lot of shit with it, uh, but it has the same like consistency as or similar consistency to like like good fresh mozzarella. That sounds uh, really burrata is like no, I no, saw, doubt my favorite. I saw like an ad for a sandwich with burrata, burrata and bread. I was like, why would they put a character from Mortal Kombat on a sandwich? <laughs> 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 but it's a cheese. It clearly works. <laughs> um, I think I would. Ooh, it's tough. Um, honorable mention: brie, um, mozzarella. Um, I like um, honorable mention to like regular ass American cheese. I like it. It's it's the only thing for a grilled cheese. I think we'll talk about that. It melts the best. No question. No like, question. Don't be bougie. Um, <laughs> yeah, I love all kinds of cheese, but. I think I'm going with like Gouda. 
Gouda's great. And asterisk smoked Gouda. Yeah. So it's funny you say smoked Gouda because like I had never really been big into smoked cheeses. And then mm-hmm. this past Thanksgiving, uh, Amber's sister-in-law's mother brought this smoked uh, sheep's milk cheese. Sheep's it milk. was so good. I almost ate the entire roll. <laughs> it tasted like I was I was explaining to, to my boss earlier. I was just like, it tasted like it had it had been cooked through, but it was clearly cheese. Like it's hard to explain with the taste. <laughs> But I don't just, know what you're it, saying. It just had like this smoky, like mm. almost like fully cooked through flavor. Um, but it was just, it was just, you know, very easily consumable, like, like cheese, obviously. Um, it was fucking amazing. Whoa. It was so, so good. That's, sheep, that's sounds... sheep's milk cheese. I really love goat cheese. I've never had sheep. Well, are sheep and goat the same thing? <laughs> What's well, a lamb? Is a lamb a sheep? Uh, nope. Nope. No, a lamb grows up to be a sheep. Does it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Mary had a little lamb who turned into a sheep. No, that's not how it goes. <laughs> that's not. Well, that <laughs> that doesn't prove your point. But yes, lambs grow up to be sheep. I'm pretty sure. Are you sure? Are you really sure that goat and <laughs> I'm googling goat and sheep. <laughs> goat and sheep are two completely different animals. <laughs> Treehugger.com. <laughs> the difference between sheep and goats. All right, let's see. Um. God, this is a whole article. Talk, Jay, talk. Stop I, looking at the article. I'm, I'm interested, too. They're clearly not the same thing. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, but please be entertaining. I'm Jesus still concerned. fucking like, Christ. So, anyways, sheep. <laughs> sheep bah, bah, black sheep. Uh, although ghosts, I should have went to Wikipedia. Ghosts go ba too, I mm. think. Um, yeah, ba. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. You put me on the spot here. Um, Mr. Cheesy, I stay like oh. wheezy. Um, shit. Sheep have 54 chromosomes and goat have 60. So are sheep dumber? I don't think so. They don't must. we only have like 23 chromosomes? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's a matter of. <laughs> so are goats dumb? are dumber because they have more chromosomes. <sighs> Let's not get into this. I feel like you're going to make a. Sheep brains are small. Human brains are big. We have 22, 21 chromosomes. I just feel like this is, could go to a bad place, so I'm going <laughs> to stop you. Um, so, yeah, sheep and goat, not the same thing. I thought it was like a cow and a bull kind of thing, but it's not. No. no. Um, What's your the, favorite deli cheese? Uh, I used to get Munster a lot. my shit. So good. Um, but then I also like getting the American cheese, the fancy American cheese from the deli. And it tastes better than like the Kraft Singles, I think. Mm. Mild. Like Land O'Lakes. Mild or sharp shit. cheddar? Um, mild. Mm, I love sharp cheddar. I like sharp cheddar, but like certain cheeses, like their sharp varieties are way too sharp sure. for me. That makes sense. And I'm like, I, this tastes like I just ate uh, chalk. <laughs> I feel that. Yeah, so I'm not not into that. Too sharp, get it out of my face. <laughs> Too sharp, you might get cut. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Um, yeah, that actually is a good segue. Hard cheese versus spreadable cheese. Uh, I guess it depends on the context. I prefer. I forgot about provolone. Provolone, honorable provolone mention. Out, yeah. Um, Kobe yeah. Jack, Monterey Jack. I can't stop. Yeah, you eat a lot. Pepper of, Jack. You eat a lot of sandwiches. <laughs> I do. Um, sandwiches are amazing. <laughs> um, I sandwiches. Heavy as fuck. Oh, least favorite cheese by far, no question. No, nothing compares. Swiss cheese is awful. I love Swiss cheese. Oh, I can't. It just it has this like funkiness to it. That I just can't get over it. Mm. Do you if, like if blue cheese? A, love blue cheese. If mm. Swiss cheese is on, the only time I like Swiss cheese yeah. is when it's on a Reuben. If it's on a Reuben, I'm in. Done. Okay. Have you had the Reuben at Radler? No. I, I just had it for the first time and then I had it again and it's so good. It's like one of the best Rubens I I can find like in my area. Man, there's this Ruben there's a Ruben in LA at this place called Lancaster's. It's like a Jewish deli. Well, I I'm sure there's no comparison there, it's but it's fucking incredible. Um but yeah, I I haven't it's I haven't had much luck finding a good Ruben except for at the French market. What about Manny's? I still haven't been to Manny's. Oh, yeah. My mom goes there. I heard it's amazing. I just yeah. haven't had a chance to go yet. Um, On Steve Harvey's episode of Comedians and Cars Getting yeah. Coffee, they went there. Yeah, I saw that. I just, I'm I getting go. so god darn hungry right now. <laughs> Ooh, maybe I should go to the... Oh, god, I just... Why won't they build more grocery stores in Logan? All right. Rant. Quick rant. Quick rant. 
So I got a grocery store near me that closes at eight o'clock. Really? Eight o'clock. Who? I have a job. I can't be <laughs> like. There's no time. I can't like that one's around the corner. Uh, Aldi closes at nine or ten usually, but that's all the way in Bucktown, and I don't have my cars in the suburbs, so I can't drive anywhere. And there's Food Smart, which is a long walk, but that's open 24 hours, but it's super expensive. And f- fucking Fresh Time is all the way near the Target. And, like, they decide, oh, let's build another Target in Logan. Not like a Trader Joe's, huh? Maybe, did you think about that, Logan? Like a Trader Joe's? Maybe we need to eat. We need food here. Do you think, did you think about that? Did you think that we need food did that cross your mind at all? No one grocery shops at Family Dollar. That's like the third best grocery store in Logan, which is sad. Wow. I hadn't thought about this. It's fucked up. It's a real struggle here in Logan. And it's going to be a Target Express, too. And who the fuck? What are you like? I feel like you are like have to be even richer than someone who buys their, all their groceries at Whole Foods to buy them at Target. <laughs> like... That is the snobbiest thing. Oof. I used to buy my... And I it's not even them. good produce or anything. No. I used to buy my groceries at Target in college because that was pretty much option mm-hmm. number one, two, and three. But mm-hmm. yeah, I haven't done that at all. <sighs> it's a, guess I'll go to Food Smart. I don't know. Boy. Ride my bike over there or something. <laughs> I don't know what to do. It's too far to walk. Man. Like I need, <laughs> I need food. <laughs> so bad. I need to go grocery shopping. Just get I'll, Instacart, man. I have done Instacart, but like, how long is that going to take? You could get it here in the same night. You could order it night right now. If I and get ordered it, by, it right now, if you order you it right now, it? eh, it's eight thirty. It's a little late. You might be able to get it by like ten thirty. Hmm. All right. Just telling you. <laughs> See, don't encourage me to like be distracted during the <laughs> podcast, though. Um, it's a real struggle. You didn't answer the question: hard versus spreadable. Well, we got on a tangent. That's... Um, I'm I'm much more of a fan of like raw milk spreadable cheeses. I like mm-hmm. to put them on toast. Um, yeah. I've never actually thought about putting like uh, spreadable cheese on toast. No, dude, that sounds amazing. Missing out. Even I do even like, like on a I'll good do cracker. it on crackers. Yeah, yeah I'll a do good it on cracker, but. Like what's a good cracker to you? I feel like you're too bougie for Ritz. <laughs> no, I would fuck with Ritz or even like um those the uh, the white club crackers. The what about Toho's? saltine? Saltines are just too they're too um uh, thin. they're good for they're just soup. too thin. Yeah, they're not great for cheese because like mm-hmm. if you start spreading, they fucking just crack mm-hmm. and just go mm-hmm. blow into smithereens. But like those those classic like rectangle yeah <laughs> that's a good word. <laughs> those classic like uh, rectangle club crackers. Those are really really good for cheese. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I, that's the only way I would eat those. Yeah, those are great. Um, I mean, there's other ones too. There's like the fucking like not water crackers, but the the like circular ones. Those suck. They're unsalted and stupid. Yeah, but that's what the cheese is for. Yeah, I guess so. I like salt. Um, you hear that, Fury Spoon? Um, <laughs> I guess there's a natural segue. Um, for a charcuterie place, do you prefer meat to go with the cheese or like bread and jams? Hmm. It doesn't feel like it's a charcuterie board if there's no meat. Yeah, I think the same thing. Um, it's just it's hard to. It's not hard. That's a it's cheese plate they, if there's no meat. Yeah, if they do it, I mean, people do it anyways. Where you mix like like a jam or a honey with the meat. I've seen a recipe with like a circle of brie where they put jam and like um, puff pastries around it. And bake I have it. seen that. I, it like looks a baked really brie. good. I've never done that, but I've always wanted to. It looks. It fucking looks amazing. really good. Yeah, we should I'm do so that. Hungry. We should do that. <laughs> we should. Um, I'm down. But yeah, charcuterie. Like I like to do a little bit of like like softer like raw milk cheeses and a couple hard cheeses. Now I want scoff. Uh, <laughs> and then like from there, then I like. Have the you toasted. had the charcuterie at scoff? No, when we Me went neither. there, I got the chicken. Yeah. And it was bomb. That did come on a, a big wooden board, though. That's true. It did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a weird way to serve chicken. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I like I like hard cheeses, like a hard gouda, or like a even like the other day I had like a hard aged parmesan, which I didn't mm. think I was gonna like mm. in a charcuterie setting, and it was great. Yeah, um, that's weird, but that could work. Yeah, I do like parmesan. Another uh, Manchego, honorable mention: Manchego's great. Um, ricotta, ricotta salad. Um, even mascarpone, like mascarpone, so like you can do so many different things with that. it. Mascarpone, you've had it in things. I don't. You probably never mm. eaten it directly, but you've definitely mm. had it in things for sure. Um, <laughs> so aggressive. <laughs> you've had it. <laughs> I'm not saying that like that. I'm just saying like it's in a lot of stuff. 
Um, but yeah, I like I like I like like a. You sound like a fucking sex ed teacher. It's like <laughs> if you've had sex on unprotected, you've had sex indirectly <laughs> with her and her and him and him and her and her and him and Zem and Zim. And oh no! Zer. No! 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 <laughs> Don't uh, don't police pronouns. Don't be that guy. Fine. Uh, I like jams with berries in them. So like freshly like yeah. I jams. will only eat preserves. Like pretty much the only jam I will eat is bon maman um, strawberry preserves. It's a French brand. Bon maman. This is it means good mom. That's dope. Mm-hmm. That's dope. Respect. It, yeah, it's really good. Um, first time I had it was in French class. My teacher brought it, and they sell it at every grocery store. Is that the one that's like it's it's got like the white and the on the front? It's got the red cap with the pic. It looks like a picnic table. Nope, I'm thinking of a different one. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, and they also have like a knockoff at um, Aldi that I buy. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when I'm rock climbing, I like to have like toasted bagels with butter and that um pre- those preserves on it, mm. and it's really really good. Mm. It's yeah. like one of my favorite rock climbing snacks. I get that. It's good for carb loading. Yeah, <laughs> for rock climbing. <laughs> no, yeah. I, charcuterie just become like one of my favorite things. It's so good, actually. Yeah, me and my ex girlfriend, we used to like sometimes not even have dinner and just eat so fucking <laughs> um. Uh, salami, prosciutto, and like whatever cheese, like brie or um, uh, provolone or mozzarella or something on crackers, and yeah. that would just be what we had for dinner. There's a wine restaurant and over by my wine. apartment called mm-hmm. Rootstock, and like sometimes Amber and I would just mm-hmm. go there, drink a couple glasses of wine, get like maybe one or two even. Like, wait, for three I, is that the place in Bucktown? No, I mean, it's in Humble Park, basically. So it's uh, oh, and like, I'm thinking of a different one. I'm thinking of the one on Milwaukee on the way to Aldi for my. Oh, place. yeah. That place is also great. I've gone there. Mm-hmm. I've actually reached out to them about being on the podcast. They said they're oh, interested, right. but I didn't follow up. Oh. Um, but you yeah. You always got to follow up. What are you doing, Jay? Oh, Call yourself a salesman. You don't deserve of... to wear that polo. <laughs> 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 what a callback. Yeah, that's what you call a callback, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> my. Those improv classes are paying off. Clearly working. How's it been going? How's it going? I'm pretty good. I missed class um, two weeks ago because I was hungover. <laughs> but And then I almost missed class this week because I was hungover, but I made it. That a boy. Proud and of you. I'm feeling good. I saw my... Uh, actually, last night, I saw my improv teacher's um, Herald's team. Herald team. Uh, do you know what the Herald is? I do. Okay, good. My brother yeah. does improv. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> of course, he's <laughs> talked about it probably all the time. But... um. Yeah, so I saw his team. Um, there was a comedian. There were two solo acts. There was uh, another Herald team. Uh, it was really good. When I say comedian, I mean stand-up comedian. But, yeah, um, it was a really good show. Yeah. yeah. And then I saw a terrible improv show on Sunday. I won't say their name. It wasn't Nikki's show. I went to Nikki's show on Sunday. It was not Nikki's show. I went to Nikki's show on Sunday, mm-hmm. Sin Night. It was the last night of Sin Night. It was hilarious. And then mm-hmm. we proceeded to drink uh, and sing karaoke. And then I went to work hungover on Monday. It was fantastic. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Oh, yeah, but, yeah, if you're in the Chicago area, um, the Fudge Herald team, my teacher is on it. Very good show. <laughs> Fudge, that's a yeah. great name. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Very funny. Um, but, yeah, what was a, what were we talking about before Char- that? Charcuterie. Sharkula? <laughs> How can we not? <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, man, shout out to Sharkula. You think Sharkula likes charcuterie? He better. <laughs> Shark- charcuterie? He better like it. Char- I'm sure he does. Like he, he has good taste, I bet. I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Oh yeah, we were talking about that wine place. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. Right. Rootstock, Humble Park, Augusta, and California. Mm-hmm. For listeners in Chicago, if you haven't been there, highly, highly recommend. They mm-hmm. have a large wine list and mm-hmm. some great charcuterie and good food in general. <laughs> ever ever since we got off the slow carb diet, I have not wanted any wine. Really? Yeah, I'm still. Drinking I'm all it. beer. I'm still drinking it. I've definitely gone back to beer though. I've been more of a whiskey guy recently. Yeah, I I used to do more whiskey. Now just just wine for me. Um, I mean, it's just beer for me. Mm, classic. Mm-hmm. Um, but only shitty. Well, not shitty beers, but like I'm off IPAs. I don't like those anymore either. I feel like I um, was just lying to myself about liking <laughs> IPAs. I think that's what everyone's doing because they don't taste good. I like IPAs. Some, yeah, but all. you're bougie. Yep, yep, that's yeah, good. you got me. <laughs> yeah, IPAs are for fake ass hoes. I'm just kidding, like Jay. I'm just kidding. Wow, <laughs> I had to throw some darts. I can't help it. it they just come out. 
clearly. <laughs> uh, I'm dangerous. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, all beer for me. Oh, that's actually a good segue. How do you feel about beer cheese? I beer cheese is a new food for me. I only really started eating it maybe two years ago. So like it just never. I mean, poor fucking Puerto Rico. We never eat beer cheese. I didn't even know what that was. And then all of a sudden, I didn't know what it was either. I went to a friend's giving and somebody brought it to the friend's giving and I'm like, oh my god, what is this glorious thing? This, <laughs> yeah. It was in a fucking Cubs helmet. I'm just like, <laughs> this is glorious. What is this? How have I never eaten this before? Yeah, just with like, like a pretzel. Oh my god. We would do it with like those like circular like sesame seed crackers uh-huh. or. Um, Another time I had it, they cut like almost like a bread bowl and they put oh it in gosh. the bread bowl. And then they had mm. the little, the top and the rest of the bread from inside mm. as the dipping. It was amazing. That sounds so good. Beer cheese is bomb, dude. It's so good. I love it. <laughs> I did not. Remember, I would never would have thought I would even like it. Remember when Nikki was like, yeah, I know how to make beer cheese. You, just, you open a beer and you take cheese and then you pour it in a bowl and you mix it. It's beer cheese. I'm like, yeah, I don't think it's that simple, buddy. <laughs> he said that? I don't remember that, but... <laughs> He's missing a crucial step, which is heating it. Yeah, there's a lot involved there. It's not just pouring beer and cheese. Um, you can do that in your mouth, like just like so. You yeah, I mix it. If you think about it, well, if you go um, with that, I've had beer cheese plenty of times. <laughs> yeah. um, T- too many times ago. Yeah. Today, actually, and yeah. yesterday, mm-hmm. for that matter. Yep. Um, much more sad variety of beer cheese, but yes, I've had it. Uh, <laughs> that's gross. Uh, <laughs> Oh, God. There was a crazy bit. Like, one of the... The guy who closed out the show, he was like a... He did, like, a solo act. And he was on my teacher's team. He, like... Uh, his, the, he, like, pretended like he sat on a bench next to a person. He was talking to no one, but he was pretending to talk to someone. He's like, yeah, my wife just passed away. It's been... It's been hard. And he was wearing a fanny pack. And he opens it up, and there's a fake bird in it he's like yeah i'm a falcon trainer and then goes back to talking about his wife and then he pulls out a banana peels it and <laughs> takes a bite starts chewing it and then just like mama birds it to the <laughs> bird it was so jarring because the first time there was no warning he just like opens the banana and he's like ah! and then fucking onto the bird and he just kept doing that as he was talking about his wife and how oh sad he God. was that she was gone it was That's so, so fucking hilarious That's it was funny. one of the funniest things i've ever seen and like i couldn't i like almost couldn't look because it was so disgusting <laughs> but also i couldn't look away That's it was hilarious. amazing That's funny. good, good improv is just so funny mm-hmm. man. yeah like when it's good it's like one of the funniest things. It's like ever. sex. It's like sex. It's like if it's bad, it's bad. But if it's good, really good. It's really. That's good. what people. I no people compare sex to pizza, where they say even when it's bad, it's good, which is not true. There's terrible pizza and there's terrible sex. We talked about this. This is true. We talked about this mm-hmm. on the pizza episode. Oh yeah, check yeah. it out, y'all. Yeah, Stromboli, Spamoni, Samboni. Yeah, that was <laughs> it. Um, actually, yeah, let's talk about pizza. Um. <laughs> Which one of you wrote this? Actually, the thing about Pizza Hut. I'm assuming it was Nikki. Yeah, he 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 wrote it like it was it was like new news. <laughs> like Pizza Hut added cheese to the crush in it in attempt in an attempt to make it less shitty. What else can cheese make better? But um, I just want to say like that was like that's such old news. <laughs> like it, if it was visual, I'd pull up that slow poke meme. <laughs> but um. Yeah, I I actually uh, don't think Pizza Hut's pizza is that shitty. I've never had Pizza Hut. Um, Ever. It's way better than Domino's. Domino's is complete trash. And mm-hmm. if you like Domino's, stop listening and don't stop go listening. get your life. Don't stop listening. Go fix your life. But call it. call that woman. Uh, uh, what is her name? Yanla. Fix my life. You know that you, show? You mean Laurel? No, not Laurel. <laughs> no, Yanny. <laughs> I heard Yanny too. Mm-hmm. Um. Um. Talk. <laughs> Yanda? What? No, Elon. The Yan Yanla <laughs> fix my life. I think. It, yeah, it's a show about this black woman who fixes people's lives. Oh, my buddy was on her show. What? Yeah, my buddy from high school, Will, was on her show. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. funny. It was a very sad episode. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I mean. You had no contact. It wasn't your fault. It was a very, very sad <laughs> I just episode. thought it was funny that he was on it. And I didn't mean funny like, haha. I was like, oh, that's funny. Yeah, she was on. Mm-hmm. She was in the movie um, uh, Girls Trip. Um, oh, yeah. She called out Queen Latifah. 
Oh my goodness. Also, Chance the rapper mentions her show in the song Best Life by Cardi B. I am I am leaning away from the mic. I have to stop that. Yeah, you did um, that last week. All right, relax. I I look, I don't need your like second opinion. Like I, I admitted to it. You don't gotta be like, yeah, you did do that. I can I'm just confirming what you just said. It was you had a you had a rude tone. <laughs> Is it because my hands on my hip? For what it's worth, my back hurts, so that's why I'm doing that. Well, you should think about that before your back starts hurting. <laughs> <laughs> Other hand? Uh, how about now? <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Fix your back. Go on, Yanla. <laughs> Fix my back. Right. Um, <laughs> but yeah, if you like dominoes, go on, Yanla. Fix my life. We're gonna figure you out need your life. Fix. But anyway, I like stuffed crust pizza. Um, it's what else does cheese make better? I would say um, bread <laughs> sandwiches. No, not eggs. I don't. I don't think no. so. I don't like cheese in my eggs. Okay. Eggs. Eggs are uh, unless it's an omelet. But like scrambled eggs with cheese, that's nasty. Fuck you. Fair. Oh. An egg sandwich. Was that an egg? With, was that a fuck fuck you to me or fuck you to people that like eggs on their like scrambled eggs with cheese? People p- to people who like scrambled eggs with cheese. Got it. Okay. <laughs> so just so you guys know. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> You're coming. stupid. You're almost as stupid as the Domino's people, wow. but not as stupid. Domino's people are really stupid, <laughs> but you're just a little stupid. Like, you should get, you should not go on <laughs> Yangla, fix my life, but you should, like, look at a meme that says, get your life. <laughs> <laughs> I can confirm that that will do nothing. It will do nothing. What are you, uh, you think you're Alanya? <laughs> Whatever fuck her name is. <laughs> <laughs> We're never going to figure it out. <laughs> like, um, Yeah. <laughs> what, what do you think you're iguana? Like, <laughs> iguana, iguana, iguana fix my fix, life. <laughs> that'd be a fucking lit ass show. Iguana fix my life. That's it just sounds like a, a Jamaican person that asking like if you're gonna fix their life. That sounds like is iguana, iguana fix my life. That sounds like something iguana they would do on like, my uh, life. A Bojack Horseman. They would do that. The iguana, uh. iguana fix my life. Just be the pun. Uh, God, I love that show. Um, oh, we need to make that show. Edit this out. <laughs> First step, uh, buy an iguana. Second step, buy a camera. There's an iguana um, across the street from Scofflaw that there lives is? in a storefront. What? Yeah. Is it a pet storefront? No, it's just a store. What the fuck? And there's a... I don't know if it's an iguana. It's a big-ass li- lizard. It might be a Komodo dragon, to be honest. But I don't know if you're allowed to own those. I'm pretty sure you're not. <laughs> Are they poisonous? Incredibly. <laughs> okay, then no. It's not a Komodo dragon, but it's a big-ass lizard. They're fucking... Dude, they're vicious. Amber and I were watching Planet Earth the other day. Mm. They fucking go at it, dude. They've got <laughs> big-ass teeth, and they fucking... They're fast and... Whew. That's terrifying. They I would not like to. Frightening. <laughs> I, frightening. I I hate lizards. Regardless, like they're so scary. Yeah, they're and gross. Like, yeah, they sliver. Uh, shit. Oh. God, an improv class somehow. Um, someone suggested salamander, and the game we were playing, like everyone does a monologue, and like you can tag people out. And I just jumped out. I was like, "Did you know that when you cut off a salamander's tail?" it can grow a new tail. And like, I didn't even know if that was true or not. <laughs> and then someone tagged me out and said, also, if you have a salamander tail, it'll grow another salamander. <laughs> it was pretty funny. But, um, how the fuck did we get on the, oh yeah, the fucking storefront with the lizard. <laughs> anyway, um, if you like lizards, fuck you. <laughs> I'm alienating all these tiny niche groups. We're going to go from 40 <laughs> to lizards fuck. to like 36. to 39. <laughs> It's going to be one weird guy who like who loves like, lizards, loves dominoes, dominoes <laughs> and fucking cheese eggs. Actually, <laughs> if you're You know what? If you check all those boxes, don't listen to this podcast yeah, anymore. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, Dave. It'd be weird <laughs> if, if what if his what if his name is Dave? He'd be fucking freaking the fuck that's out. That's true. He probably he's like just, he's looking at his phone mm-hmm. right, like what He probably choke on his dominoes. <laughs> Hopefully your lizard knows the Heimlich. <laughs> oh god, that was good. I'm get, I'm complimenting myself. Oh, I heard. <laughs> uh, what does cheese make better? Not lizards. No. Um, more oh. cheese could probably improve Domino's. Um, mm. um, obviously a cheeseburger. Cheese. Um. 
I don't like the things online where they like take things that shouldn't have cheese and then like are like, oh, we're gonna take a giant steak and cover it in cheese. Like that's so unnecessary and no, disgusting. Don't ruin my steak. No, that's terrible. I saw they. Uh, I saw a video where someone doused an entire burger in um in liquid cheese, and I was like, that's. Oh, I highly I unnecessary i did see that that is so unnecessary well even like those cheese wheels that they just fucking like heat up at the top and just like, like i kind of would be into down. that on some pasta yeah it just feels like so much it does it it makes my stomach hurt just thinking I'm th- about it i'm saying it just yeah. like it, like it gummies I'm my system to, yeah i'm gonna have to before that probably take like seven lactates <laughs> and, and maybe I, i'll be fine but oh, probably man. not yeah um yeah, anything else that makes that cheese makes better or worse that you can think of? Uh, some salads. Some salads are better. Oh yeah, cheese. definitely. Definitely. If you put like a goat especially cheese blue or cheese, a feta. yeah. Goat cheese needs to be in more places though. I love goat cheese. Goat cheese is great. Mm-hmm. It's really good. Um, they don't have any more, but Elephant Castle used to have a steak sandwich with goat cheese and arugula. It was really Ooh, good. Interesting. But I don't see it on the menu mm-hmm. anymore. Um, yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> the elephant <and> castle. <laughs> anyway, um, God, why am I attacking everyone? We've both done it today. So, what makes the best grilled cheese sandwich? Mm-hmm. Tell me. Um, so American cheese is the easy answer. Mm-hmm. Although I would, I will do provolone from time to time. Like mix it, like provolone I'm, and yeah, definitely. I'll do just um some other cheese. But I like gouda on a, on a um grilled cheese sandwich as well. Like, like gouda, if you're gonna not do American cheese, I think you should probably mix in a few different. Right, cheeses. you do like a gouda and like a either a mild yeah. or a sharp cheddar. What's what's the deal with um nothing being more than four cheeses? Like That's a good <laughs> question. Yeah, like. You'll every every time you see like a number of cheese, like maybe five, but like never six cheese, no. never seven cheese. No. What are you afraid of? <laughs> and why not three? What's wrong? Yeah, with three never cheeses? three. <laughs> Definitely not two. Yeah, like <laughs> I, we did. Um, we did fondue. Oh, this is what we didn't talk about. Fucking fondue. Oh shit. How do we? I, I, how do we not put that on the run now? We yeah. did. We did fondue in L.A. and it was once again four cheese fondue, and it was mm. all these different cheeses, and they mm-hmm. like just melt them together. That sounds amazing. Um, have you had fondue? Yeah, of course. Oh, it's so fucking good, yeah. dude. We used to, me and my mom used to go to the melting pot. Remember that? Place? I've never been there, but I, I've heard oh, yeah. good things. Yeah, it's really good. Um, um, it's a. I mean, it's like a <laughs> the Applebee's of fondue. Yeah, there's a place here called the Geisha Cafe. Actually, I rode a bike past it this, today on my way here, which is mm. funny enough. But it sounds like you stole a bike. I know you're referring to a <laughs> divvy, but like. <laughs> You shouldn't I, be specific. I hear it now. When I say I rode a bike, <laughs> yeah. it's clearly not my bike. Yeah. Uh, no, nah, dude, but like fondue is fucking bomb. Like, yeah, you do it, so like good. you can. So when we went to, in LA, they gave us um, chorizo and like uh, prosciutto. Then mm-hmm. they gave us bread, and then they also gave us uh, apples, so we could just or and also uh, fingerling potatoes. So we had a lot of different options to dip in. Oh, that was so, so good! good. Right now. So good. There's not enough fondue places in Chicago. Absolutely, there's not. really not. Mm-hmm. But also. I don't was thinking think about, about this. that. Either. No, you don't. But the thing is, too, like, we realized this as we were eating in LA. I was like, I only know of like one French restaurant in Chicago. Like, I can only really think of one. Mon ami, you be. Yeah, there's like nothing. Mm-hmm. There's no other like exclusively French restaurants. Yeah. Hmm. Although there is a there's a couple there's a lot of patisseries like throughout the city like yeah there's French like, like yeah. French um uh, pastry places yeah. but there's no like. French not that I know of, at least. Yeah, like, like no, like real traditional French where food you can like have escargot. And exactly, stuff. Mm-hmm. exactly. I like, love escargot. Have you ever had it before? No. So good. It tastes like kind of like scallops. I do like. It usually scallops. has like garlic butter on it. Very good. Mm, I like garlic. Um, but yeah, what the fuck were we talking about? Uh, grilled grilled cheese sandwiches. Yeah. So like, I like to mix cheeses. Um, are you a bacon on grilled cheese guy? Yeah. Uh, if bacon is an option, I'll most likely add it. Yeah, I'll do bacon. I don't love tomatoes, but I'll do a tomato no, on a grilled cheese sandwich. I don't sandwich. like tomatoes, but it depends. It depends. I um, do tomato soup, though. Tomato soup is great. There's a place here in Chicago called Cheesies, and they have a Very good. bunch of different varieties of grilled cheese sandwiches. Mm. Uh, they have some with like... What's your go-to? Man, I haven't been there so long. I don't remember any of the... Mine is the tradition. It's chorizo, um, oh, jalapenos. That's yeah, great. um some kind of white cheese. I would I love forget. I would love to do like a queso fundido type of grilled cheese sandwich where like all the ingredients yeah. of a queso fundido are between the breads. Like that that's basically what the Yeah, that's what it sounds like. That's what it sounds is. like. It's so good. I think they have one that has pesto, 
which I fucking yeah. love pesto. I love pesto. Um, too. They might even have like a caprese style one, if I remember correctly. Mm-hmm. Which, but yeah, actually, that reminds me. Cheesy's uses Texas toast, and I feel like that takes a grilled cheese up a notch. No for question. Sure. There's only a couple of breads that make grilled cheese really good. It's like you have to get your traditional like bleached white flour bread. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um sourdough does pretty good job with yeah. grilled cheese sandwiches because it, it gets nice and crusty and mm. then texas toast like there's yeah there's really if no you go outside of that like stop yeah there's really no fuck other breads. You. there's no other breads that really make sense you heard you heard me yeah fuck you uh, yeah what i'm sorry what he said <laughs> I'm, I'm, i apologize like I'm i've never had so i've never had a grilled cheese sandwich on rye but you do do a patty melt on rye so i wonder if that would be any good it, yeah, you know I what I mean. Because so. all you're taking mm-hmm. out is the burger patty. Yeah, I think that would be good. Grilled cheese sandwich and onions. Oh yeah, well yeah, that too. Mm-hmm. But major ingredient with the onions, like a a patty melt with no burger, that actually would be good. I'd eat that. Just Have you had the patty melt at um, Little Goat? I think I may have had a bite of yours. Oh, yeah. Maybe. It's so good. I the best we patty there. melt I've ever had. I got a club sandwich when we were there. Yeah, I remember. It was good. Yeah, for someone who hates turkey, you got a turkey club, which was weird. I know. It's not. Yeah, it didn't make any sense, but it was good. I liked it. Mm-hmm. I liked it. Um, <laughs> I don't know that the turkey is what made me like it. I think it was the other. I'm sure. The rest of the stuff that Turkey is a shit ass deli meat. I wish, I wish they could make it better. I don't. Mean. I like. I literally lose respect for people when I see them eating turkey lunch meat. And I like turkey, but like turkey lunch meat is disgusting and dry. The only thing worse is like chicken lunch meat. It's like, what are you doing? Yeah, that's gross. What are you actually doing? I don't with your love life? ham though. Like when it comes to deli meat, I don't love ham. I'll give me I, a pastrami. I like ham, but like ham is okay. But it, I prefer it to be accompanied by other things like the Italian nightclub at Jimmy John's. Where it's got ham, capicola, salami. Sure. Prosciutto is my favorite, though. Prosciutto's great. Would you do a um, grilled ham and cheese sandwich? Yes. I actually had one at um, Same Day Cafe this weekend. Mm. And it was really good because you can add an egg. So it was a grilled ham and cheese sandwich uh, with a, a, a fried egg on it. And it was amazing. What, it was have, you so ever had, uh, have you ever had a croque monsieur? Yes. <sighs> Those are I make those at my house sometimes. That's the only because I learned about one. it in French class. Yeah, that's the mm-hmm. only one that I would do with ham in it because everything else that's involved. Mm-hmm. But yeah, sometimes I would do a grilled cheese with prosciutto or salami on it. That is really good. What about a Monte Cristo? Have you ever had a Monte Cristo? What's on that? Probably, but I can't remember. It's basically a croque monsieur, but instead of regular bread, it's French toast. Oh no, I've never had that. That sounds amazing, though. It's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Um, I do like the sweet and savory one. It's like breakfast yeah like a pig in a blanket type thing it's pretty good or a, or a mcgriddle yeah <laughs> mcgriddles are bomb but yeah it's pretty mm-hmm. good it's it's a, sometimes depending on who makes it um the the sweetness of the french toast can overwhelm it but yeah it's mm-hmm. pretty solid yeah i think it would have to be like not too sweet not like yeah. too syrupy or yeah anything. exactly yeah um yeah i i think like meats add to a Grilled cheese. I think that was our consist- yeah. consensus. Yeah. Bacon, prosciutto, mm-hmm. chorizo. Salami. Yeah, so yeah. A salami for sure. Or even mm. like fried bologna. Oh, mm. man. I love me some fried bologna. Oh, that's some broke people or shit. Or spam. Like, even if you take spam and you shave that shit and you just fucking like, you just toast it. Or not toast it, but you just like, mm. just like sear it. it. Yeah, you yeah, just sear it, it on the top mm. on both sides and then just like mm. slide that in there. You got to get the right cheese, but mm-hmm. man. Like a spam and egg sandwich with a little bit of cheese, like a pimento cheese. Fuck me. There's an uh, episode. There's a Vice uh, video. I think it's a Munchies video. This guy making a a spam breakfast sandwich with like Hawaiian sweet rolls. Oh, so that's the dude. That is the dude that um, owns Egg Slut in L.A. And oh, okay. Egg Slut is Im- it's amazing. For the people that live um, in L.A., if there's anybody listening who lives in L.A., and if you haven't gone to the Central Market, you have to go to the Central Market. It's this huge like farmer's market in L.A., in downtown L.A., that just has a bunch of restaurants. They're all phenomenal. But Egg Slut is there, and it's just – it's a very simple – um, breakfast sandwich, but they're mm. so good. They all come mm. on um, uh, egg buns, so like fluffier buns, kind of like a, mm. it's more of like a baguette basically. Um, and then it's just like eggs and chives, and they have like a spam sandwich, and they have all these different. Uh, it's just so good. Egg slut is amazing. amazing. Yeah, I I got the West Coast as my new territory, so next time I go to LA, I definitely got to go back to Egg slut. Mm-hmm. It's fucking incredible. I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I guess the last thing we have to talk about is. 
thoughts on fake cheeses. I don't know which you wrote this, but um, it's a big variety of fake cheese. Um, the items we have here are cheese in a can. So like cheese Whiz. Um, I, I don't think I've ever had cheese Whiz. Okay, well, this is going to be boring because I'm sure neither of us have had vegan cheese either. I have. Oh, what do you think? It's disgusting. Yeah, that's what I thought. It just, My it mom doesn't... had it because she's uh, allergic to milk. Yeah, and um, Amber went through a period there where she was eating vegan shit and like vegan cheese. And it's just like, you know what? If you're allergic or you're dairy intolerant, you don't get to eat cheese. Just don't yeah. eat cheese. Don't yeah. ruin it. You're going to fuck it up for yourself. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Somebody brought vegan cheese to our Friendsgiving and... Everybody's like, oh, yeah, it's really good. Everybody's being really friendly. And I put it in my mouth, and I'm like, this is fucking disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> this is terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> but thank you for trying to contribute to Thanksgiving. You ruined it. Uh, it's fucking disgusting. <laughs> it's so bad. That's how to get Jay to be mean. It, it was, was just... I mean, it's Friendsgiving. I know you got dietary restrictions. Don't eat cheese. And don't try to bring your fucking gross vegan cheese. It's disgusting. Don't get them going on vegan. It literally, like, vegan <laughs> cheese has a, it has, like, a chalkiness on the outside. It literally looks like it has dust on it. It's, it's it disgusting. Dusty. It does look dusty. It's so <laughs> disgusting. Ugh, vegan cheese is gross. Yeah, I've never tried it. It sounds gross. Um, I like cheese in a can, actually. Like, not all the time. Because I, I like to respect myself. But, um, <laughs> no, I don't. Um, but, yeah, I just don't buy it that often. But when it is available, it's pretty good on a cracker. Yeah, I've still I've never had it. It's got a good taste. Sometimes I'll get like the cheese whiz in a jar and add that to like um deluxe um craft deluxe cheese. I mean mac and cheese because it um oh we didn't talk about mac and cheese. Oh, that's right. Holy fuck! Wow, Jesus Christ. Mm. Um, all right, next we'll talk about that. That's a good way to end the episode, anyway. And then the other thing is cheese dust, which means the cheese dust on. <laughs> Uh, you look dusty on Cheetos, I'm cheese actually, puffs, I'm Doritos. All, I'm all for it. I'm 100% for Give it. it. I me. love Cheetos. I, don't I just said I'd wear a Cheetos shirt. <laughs> don't tell me what's in it. I don't care. Mm. Just, I just want to eat I it. I would love a, like, a Cheetos sweatshirt. Mm. Cheetos sweatshirt. Mm. Or a Cheetos sweater. That would be dope. I like it. I've, I bet that's... I'm sure that's online. It probably exists somewhere. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm, I, had, uh, I went to Crab Pad, which is like the... Um, it's right next to the Owl. It's like a crab restaurant, a seafood restaurant. And they had hot, uh, flaming Hot Cheetos mac and cheese. So that is a segue. And it was delicious. I know you, I mentioned it before, but I know you guys don't like Cheetos, which is crazy to me. But, yeah, what's your favorite add-on for mac and cheese? Um, so I actually do like crumbled like Cheetos or even breadcrumbs baked on the top of mac and cheese. To give it a little bit of a crispiness on the top. That's great. Yes. Um, I had the pimento mac and cheese from Honey Butter Fried Chicken the other day. It was good. It was good. I don't think it's. I don't think that's what they're known for. It's I don't so think, heavy. It's so. I don't feel heavy. like it was that heavy, but uh, it's definitely not their best thing. It's good. Yeah, but it's not their best. Thing. Although pimento, I wasn't a big pimento guy until I went to Nashville this last time, mm-hmm. and I had pimento four or five times while I was out there, and it was. <laughs> Literally just pimento with crackers. Mm. Pimento cheese is bomb. Like it's got mm. that spiciness to it that's really really good, and it's got yeah. just like just enough kick where it's really good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like mac and cheese. Um, I actually like mushrooms in my mac and cheese. Um, I I don't like mushrooms, but I we had some truffle um and mushroom mac and cheese at work one day, and it was really so really good. good. So good. Um, my favorite add in is actually um lobster. Ooh, good lobster call. mac and cheese lobster mac and is, cheese is so great. amazing. Yeah, so that's delicious. A, that's another thing where you put the lobster meat in there and then you put the breadcrumbs on top and then bake it and it's oh just fucking God. great because you can just kind of cut oh. through it. It's got that consistency. It's got the crunchiness on the top. Want it's really good. Now, it's I had really a good. lobster roll for lunch. I'm like, I'm living high on the hog. <laughs> <laughs> I need to grocery shop and stop wasting all my money. Did you hear? So this story came out a couple weeks ago. So apparently like lobsters are... Like lobster prices are all over the place because there's been um, a shortage of lobsters available. Oh, so yeah. people, especially like on the East Coast uh, in like Boston specifically, are buying lobster to serve to people. And like they're basically it's costing them about forty dollars to make a lobster roll, and they're only charging like twelve dollars. So they're literally losing money on every lobster roll they sell. It's crazy because there's such a shortage of lobsters <laughs> right now, which is like. First time, first time in forever. There's just like that's not crazy. enough lobsters to go around. So all these restaurants, because lobster rolls are such an, in such high demand, all these restaurants are losing money 
on <coughs> selling lobster rolls because yeah. there's just not enough fucking lobsters. I had a lobster roll from Luke's Lobster today. Actually. I still haven't gone to Luke's Lobster. That's the it, only one I haven't gone to. It's good. It was really good, and they gave you melted butter on the side, which was awesome. But it was very small. I just like that lobster roll. It was like roll. sixteen dollars. That's the only problem with lobster mm. rolls. It's like you never get enough. Mm-hmm. And they're usually really, really tiny. Yeah. But like that lobster roll that they put it Fish in. Fish Bar has a good lobster roll that's a good size. I haven't been there. <clears throat> it's really good. You know it's owned by DMK. Is it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm less interested now. So. <laughs> you don't like DMK? Yeah, it's okay. Mm-hmm. It's not the best burger place, but the Fish Bar is really good. Yeah, I'll have to go <laughs> check that out. Um. Yeah, any other toppings for mac and cheese you can think? Buffalo chicken is on the rundown. It's very good. Yeah, I, like I, don't, mind, I don't mind buffalo oh, chicken. Oh, you know what I'll do? I'll make this is like one of my uh, broke people meals is I'll get um, ground beef taco seasoning, make the taco seasoning, add in some extra spices and then make like Velveeta mac and cheese and mix the taco meat in with that. Make taco mac and cheese. So good. So, so good. that's actually a good question because is is this is something I was thinking about. Are you more of a Velveeta style mac and cheese person or like the powdered like? Uh, never powdered no i always want the liquid cheese um the powdered cheese i don't know it just it's never cheesy enough for me yeah it's been a while since i've had their craft mac and cheese with the powder yeah i always do the craft deluxe or velveeta the craft deluxe is good because you can like it's good enough to like i like i've made shrimp mac and cheese with it i've made um the Cheeto mac and cheese. I'll like put the breadcrumbs on there. What about like pulled pork? Would you do like pulled pork oh, or like brisket yeah. or something like that? <coughs> <coughs> Definitely. Damn son, you good? I'm getting over a cold. <coughs> Clearly, I've just been like I, this happens to me every year where I get a cough and it just lingers and <laughs> lingers and lingers, and it just won't go away. Feels like it's lasted a year. Um, it always feels like that. It fucking feels like that, and I hate it. I want to. I don't know. I just want mac, lots of mac and cheese. <laughs> any, really, uh, I guess any last notes on cheese? Um, uh, actually, not directly to cheese, but more directly to my body. Um, learn to be tolerant of those different from you. <laughs> that, Stop. That's a, that was a message from Matt to Matt. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck lactose intolerance. It's like it feels like my body is attacking me. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. actually, I do have a question. Did you see those uh, those videos going around Facebook of that like cheese tea? No. So I think it's in New York or Japan, one of the two. It's hard to well, say. That is very different. I want. I don't say think it's, it's Japan. They don't really. Maybe eat it was Taiwan. Cheese in Asia like that. I don't feel like. Maybe it was Taiwan, but it was like they literally just like scoop cheese on top of the tea, and you just kind of like drink through the cheese. Um. I don't know what kind of cheese it is. It looks Nay. fucking disgusting. Nay. It looks gross. People love it. <laughs> uh, idiots. That would have been a fad food. We should talk about that. <laughs> yeah, if you if you eat cheese on tea, um, fuck you. You're an idiot. <laughs> I I hope that you I don't know, get sick. <laughs> Just kidding. Power, that's, powerful words. That's very powerful. Mean. I don't want that. Uh, um, uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, everybody enjoy cheese, man. Cheese is great. Cheese is awesome. Cheese is amazing. Would you like to plug anything, Jay? Just this podcast. Don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe. They're already listening. To plug EA something Love. else. Well, remind them to rate and review the podcast. That's how other people find yeah, out yeah. about it. Give us I'm five stars. Saying, just... Give us a rating and review. We'd really appreciate it. You can follow us on Facebook Rick and Daddy. Instagram. Uh, you can also follow us on Twitter at the Yay Network. Uh, yeah, don't forget about our other podcasts, NBA, Double Yay. Yay, I started a podcast. Uh, you can follow me at J underscore Nikki. Keyless. What's Nikki's podcast called? Nikki's podcast is coming soon. It's mm. going to be called Satellite, Satellite of, Yay. of Yay. We're mm-hmm. working on that. They've done a couple episodes, but they're going to launch it once everything's recorded. Mm-hmm. Uh, I need to start doing Yay emotions. Oh, that. Uh, go ahead, finish your stuff. And that's it. Talk. Follow me at J underscore Keyless on Instagram and Twitter. Yeah. Um, I actually did my friend Charlie's podcast, the Starter Log. It was um. Very emotional. We talked about therapy, feelings, depression, all that kind of stuff. And then we also talked about podcasting and wrestling and just our friendship, too. Like, because I used to do a wrestling podcast with him. So it was it was a really good, um, really good talk. Very interesting. Hope it can help people. It, the podcast is called The Starter Log. So go ahead and check that out. Um, besides that, 
Uh, follow me on Instagram at f a t t r three three d. Look at my pictures. I haven't posted anything in a while. Maybe I should. Um, I'm not. I'm not doing the like. I wanted to be an Instagram hoe, but I just am failing miserably. Yeah, you're just a hoe. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> which nobody wants that. I guess so. <laughs> um, but the good thing about being a hoe is, according to Cardi B, a hoe never gets cold. Okay. <laughs> All right. But anyway, follow me on Twitter, Fat Reed, F A T T R E E D. Um, yeah, like Jay said, rate, comment, subscribe. And always remember that this is the podcast that eats with you guys and you and loves you. Way more than those other cheese <laughs> wow all right we can end it on that <laughs> i guess i should have uh, stopped talking <laughs> bye